Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 22nd through to the 28th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have Major Arcana, Justice in the upright position, followed then by the Ten of Swords reversed. And next, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, followed then by the Page of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant, in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Aquarius, for your overall energy, you have that of Justice in the upright position. It looks like a situation um, may reach a point where you will see Justice this week. Now, for some of you, this could be playing out in the workplace. For others of you, it could be with a relationship. Perhaps if there was some unfairness and some unjust situation happening in the family, in your relationship, at work, what have you, you could see some justice being done this week. For any of you dealing with the legal system, this could be that justice is moving in your favor. If you're waiting on a decision, a legal decision about something, it could be that um, this is... Uh, what you're hearing, it could be this week that you're hearing something back and that they're ruling in your favor. So very good to have justice as the overall energy. This is also the Libra card. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra. Now, coming right off the hop, we have the Ten of Swords in the reversed position. I prefer to see this energy reversed as opposed to upright when it's in the upright position. This can represent sort of like that last straw where we're dealing with a situation, a relationship, or something that has just sort of hit the last. It's, it's bottomed out. It's like, I will not deal with this situation any longer. I'm at the end of my rope. It's the, the straw that broke the camel's back kind of energy. When the card is inverted like this, this may have happened to some of you, and perhaps now you're this week, coming into this week, you're healing from it. You're healing from that energy. It's no longer um, made you feel the way that you were feeling about it. So the healing process has begun for some of you. And maybe it's because justice is, and fairness and balance is now playing out. So once that happens, we have a tendency to start the healing process once justice arrives. Now it's paired up with the Five of Cups in the reverse position. Five of Cups upright um, is about feeling, that's that little bit of a pity party, crying over spilled milk energy, feeling dealing with loss, disappointment, sadness, that kind of thing, and not realizing that the two cups behind are still full of promise. When the card is inverted like this, again, this is you have two cards, major cards of healing. So a lot of you were dealing with uh, some pretty severe disappointments, and now the um, energy is turning around. You're finally starting to heal from the situation and I definitely feel it's because maybe justice is coming into play now and you're starting to feel better about things. Now moving on towards the week's end we have the energies of the page of pentacles in the upright position. Uh, the page of pentacles is a court card so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person this is earth energy that of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Um, the pages can represent sometimes young people. It can be um, maybe your child. If you have a child in, of school age, it could be because the Page of Pentacles is a scholar. Maybe your child is doing very well in school. And um, for others of you, the page can represent a message coming towards you about an offer perhaps coming your way and it could be about anything that the pentacles govern which is the tangible things in life such as finances work um, home that kind of thing it could be uh, really good news coming towards you about maybe an apartment becoming available or a home becoming available it could be good news about a job you know coming becoming available or coming towards you and the last card you have up here is major arcana the hierophant in the upright position, the Taurus card. This is all about making some kind of major commitment to something. This could be signing on the dotted line. This could be representing some of you joining um, 
joining a spiritual or religious uh, community. For others of you, it could be about uh, government contracts, like working for the government or things like that. So there's a major commitment in others of you, definitely. This could be about a relationship. And if that is the case, it could be that, you know, this person, if it's a relationship, maybe this person is offering you something, even though very small, uh, if this is a love interest, maybe they only have a, a small amount of, of uh, security basically to offer you, but they're still willing to do that. Um, and it could be that you're willing to go along with it and make a commitment to this person. So that is your reading Aquarius. I am doing something a little bit different this week. Uh, I am adding an additional Oracle card to uh, all the signs at the end of the reading. And um, this is for my new deck. It's a really beautiful deck. This is a Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck. I just purchased, so I am going to pull just one card for you, Aquarius, and see what other messages that perhaps Spirit wants you to know. So this is your card, and this is your card here, Aquarius. It's a card that says Confusion. This could be that perhaps you guys are confused about a situation. Maybe uh, for some of you, it could be confusion about a relationship. For others of you, it could be confusion about a job situation. It's going to be different for all of you. It's very similar energy, it looks like, in the cards to the, um, like the Seven of Cups or the Moon, where there's a little bit of clouded energy around you. Maybe it's concerning something. It could be concerning a legal case. It could be concerning uh, this healing that you're doing. Maybe you're confused about the situation that you went through already. But that is your message. It's going to be different for all of you. Leave a comment in the comment section below uh, if this resonates for you and how so. So I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.